An executive decision has been made on this floor. So much of it is bad in so many areas that I'm gonna pull up every floorboard that is bad. And there's one and two layers of flooring that I have to take up. And in order to do that, all these walls have to come down because the walls are sitting on top of one of the layers of flooring and I don't wanna piecework everything and I know it's just easier and I know I'm gonna be moving some of the walls, so we're just gonna tear them out regardless. I'm tired. It doesn't seem like I got a lot done, but that wall is gone. All the bathroom walls are gone. We're gonna replace all of that. All of it was pretty shoddy. And I'm starting to pull up the floorboards. That is three floorboards. And there are nails every six inches on every single stud. And it is a nightmare of work. I really hope this is worth it. I think it was worth it. This is totally worth it. I don't even know what I'm saying. This is absolutely worth it. I'm just exhausted. But on the brighter side, my gym has been closed. And so I come here and I feel like I'm getting more of an upper body workout than I've ever got before. So that's good. I'm unbelievably grateful for Brie. She's doing homeschool with the kids. Come in here, Lincoln. I've got a few things that I'm doing this morning and I'm just hanging out with Lincoln. And I'm getting my hair cut. You're cutting your hair today. Can you believe that? I can't believe it either. You're not gonna let me? Yes, I'm gonna let you cut your hair today because he's been telling me that he doesn't want it so long anymore, so. We're gonna cut it. When everyone on Instagram was like, you need to cut his hair, it's too long. I literally couldn't care less. But when Lincoln tells me that he doesn't want it so long, that's when I'm like, okay, fine, I'll let you cut it. Because I want Lincoln to like his hair and I've really liked his hair too, but I haven't known what to do with it. So we're going to take it just a little shorter. We're still gonna keep it long, but we're gonna go just a little shorter, huh Link? He's my cameraman. No, I'm not. What are you? I'm your kid. <laughs> the zooming kid. The zooming kid? Is that what you said? How'd you zoom in? What? How'd you zoom in? You don't even know how to zoom in. <laughs> I'm in the Bali dress and I'm stuck. I'm not sure what this is. What part of, what, what part of class is this? Uh, this is PE. <laughs> On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> On your mark, hold on, get set, go! Mom, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're laughing too much! <laughs> genuinely asking you why. Now, we have to get a before picture before we go get your hair done. Why is your hair so snarly? Yeah, what is in it? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Maybe spiders? Or lice. Lice? You think you, does this hurt? Yes. Oh my gosh, literally, what is in your hair? This is the, I'm so sorry. You are being so strong. Olivia, can you find me a brush? Yeah. That side is done. I do not know what you got in there. As you can tell, we're kind of in a hurry because my morning took a little longer than I was thinking. And so we've got to hurry. There. Okay, come sit over here. No, come here. Stop that, oh my gosh. Teach him, I teach him how to use the camera. And, stop. I teach him how to use the camera and he thinks he's the cameraman. Okay, one, two, three, cheese. Cheese. Okay, turn around so we can get the back of your hair. One, two, three, cheese. Cheese. One, two, three, cheese. Cheese. <laughs> My mom taught me how to be a cameraman, and she said I could cut my own hair today. I feel a little nervous. Who's Charlie? 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 Charlie?
it. Honey? I can't cut a piece off. Stop that. What do you think you are doing? You said I could cut my own hair. I never said you could cut your own hair. You did. The, um, you actually did. No, I actually did not. You're cutting your hair today. Can you believe that? I never said that you could cut your own hair. Yes, you did. You said I could cut my own hair. Today. When? When did I say that? <laughs> An hour ago. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, honestly, let's go. Okay, it took us an entire 15 minutes for me to realize that there was a very, very bad miscommunication on my part. I said, link and reviewing the footage. <laughs> and I was like, what did I say? I said, Lincoln, you can cut, or like you get to cut your hair today, or Lincoln, you can cut your hair today. And so he thought I was saying, Lincoln, you can physically cut your hair today. What I meant to say was, Lincoln, you're allowed to cut your hair today. We, we get to go get your hair cut today. I would have been much more upset had I seen hair all over the floor. Luckily, because I went back and I was like, and I didn't even like, it didn't click to me that he was recording until afterwards. And I was like, why were you recording? And he's like, because you showed me how to use the camera and you said I could cut your hair. And after some tears, because we were both in some shock, there was just so many things going on that I didn't like realize what was happening. Anyway, why are you looking so awkward? Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, mom. Yeah, you should be sorry. <laughs> Should we go get your hair cut? Yeah, I do. I love you. I love you too. All right, bye bye. Go show Bree your hair. Okay, he's like occupied taking his home. I love it. You should see his face. He is so proud. Olivia, I thought it would be different. Lady what? likes it. <laughs> well, do you see how happy he is right now? Oh my gosh, he looks so handsome. He's so excited to show you. I think he likes matching pants with you. I know. He's Lincoln, looking. should we go show daddy? Oh, look at that, bud. You look like my little Lincoln Roy. Oh. <laughs> what do you think, bud? Do you love it? Do you? Do you see how happy he is? When he was done getting his haircut on the drive home, he said, I love my new haircut so Let much. Let me look at you. Let me look. Let me look. Turn around all the way. Oh, bud, it looks super good. Like he looks like a little like shag haired boy like he's supposed to. Yeah. yeah. quieter day um <laughs> it's quiet in the moment the kids are all downstairs watching a movie i for one don't feel one bit bad about letting the kids watch more tv than normal especially where we're like cramming in the rest of their schoolwork. i'm still continuing to have them practice a lot of the piano they've definitely played outside a lot and i think that's really good for them in the evenings or when they first wake up i don't care if they watch tv it's fine i have not once let them look at the iPad or use the Nintendo Switch. Those are like literally the only two electronics that we have in the house that the kids have access to. I just feel like that is the last thing I wanna give my kids. Everyone's situation is different. I don't judge anyone that does, but for me and my household, there is not one reason that they need to be on an electronic. They're doing their paper school work that their teachers sent home, like their physical packet, and spending a lot of time outside. Even if there's nothing to do outside, I'm like, find something 
you'll find something to do like when I'm cleaning or getting dinner ready or whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.